What is up everyone and welcome back to my Red Bull Leipzig career. Today we are on episode 5 and we're really going to hit in hard with the league games now. Hopefully do as well as we possibly can. See in this last time out I believe we actually played two games and drew both of them one all. So as you can see currently we are sitting 7th in the table which is very pleasing at the moment. Only after three games we're sitting on five points. Last time out, we did draw against Dortmund and also Hamburg, even though we did dominate the second game. The first game we did all right in against Dortmund. However, as you'll remember, we did get Papadopoulos sent off, so it was a bit of a struggle. We were leading, then we threw it away. But not to matter, we're going to carry on and jump into the first game. Just before we jump into this first match, we're just going to have a quick look at our objectives for the overall season. And regarding youth development, we've got to sign three players with potential over 75. So far, we've only done that with one player, but we are gradually getting more and more players through. We're only at the start of the season, so we can't do too much with that. Brand exposure. I think we are on target to get this attendance stat at least. So that is good. Continental success. Obviously, as we know, there's nothing. Domestic success. We are well on our way as long as we avoid relegation. And financial, there are no objectives. So we're doing well so far. And hopefully we can get every single objective by the end of the season. Okay, so it's time to play our first game of the day. We're up against Borussia Mönchengladbach in the league. And in terms of the team, we're struggling a little bit with a couple of players on fitness. They're just down a tiny, tiny bit. So for those players, we're actually going to take them out of the team. Just to start off with, we're going to leave them on the bench. And hopefully they can have an effect later on. I think I am actually going to start our young guy, Mayer, for this game. We may as well chuck him in there, see if we, if he can do a job. Hopefully he can, because he's got a lot of potential, so we have a lot of belief in him. And we will just put some bits of back on the bench, so if we need him later, we can call on him. Other than that, I think we are good to go, and we'll be right into the game in just a second. Martin Tyler here with Alan Smith. Hello to you all, and welcome to today's game. All right, so here we go. First game of the day, Mission Glad back. Should be a difficult one, but let's hope we can get a result. We've got full confidence in the team. Come on, Sanchez. No, 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 no. How did they get there already? How did that go in so quick? All right, let's get going. Let's try and play through someone here. Play through Forsberg. Oh, so close. Pass it across, maybe. Is that a pen? Yes, let's go. Oh, and he's off as well. All right, let's turn this game around. I'm feeling top left again. That was so close, but we'll take it. One on. Let's go, let's go, cut back underneath. Get the pace going, get a touch on it, come on. Oh, off the post. Let's put Werner through. Let's go, let's go. Come on, get it round him. Oh, come on. Halstenberg, get that in there. Get the Kiter through, Burke, put through Werner, come on. Come on, get to it. Yes, let's go. 2-1. Come on, Maya. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, very nice. Maya for your first goal. And get them on the counter. We can get in there, get ahead on it. Oh, good save, good save. Let's try and run in behind. Good tackle. Oh no, it's not. It's another pen. Let's go. Is that another red? Oh, it is. They're down to nine. I feel like. I, feel like, I don't know. It's through one. Let's dink it down the middle. 
Oh. That's embarrassing. To be fair, he probably could have got back up and grabbed it himself. It was that weak. So, there we go. Our first match of the day. 4-1. We did start off a bit slow, as you see. Well, as you saw, because we conceded so early on. But then, obviously, they got that first red card. Completely turned the game around. We were in control the whole entire time then must have just been frustration for them at the end because they got another player sent off they were down to nine and we just finished off with that nice penalty at the end so 4-1 victory very pleasing for the first match of this episode okay then so now that we are back after that match as you can see my manager rating has got up to 87 i'm not really sure why that is i think it's purely just on league performance so far which is obviously pleasing uh we did get an email after that game from torben mayer saying that it was amazing that we are playing him thanks for the opportunity and that's all good you know he's rewarding us as well with that goal i think it was a goal or an assist that he got so that's good to see that we can bring youth players through like that i'm sure we'll play him more and obviously, we're going to train them up when that possibility comes around. I think we're just going to have to advance a couple of days and then get straight into the next match because I don't think we're going to be able to do any training between this and the next match against Cologne. It turns out I was right and we don't actually have any time to do another training session between our last match and this match against FC Cologne. So we're going to obviously jump straight into this. In terms of the lineup for today, I'm going to start Davy Selka up top. Dembele is going to come back into the team. I'm going to leave some bits on the bench again, and I'm actually going to play... Okay, I was going to play Maya, but he's actually a bit lower on fitness, so I think I'll leave Maya out for this one. We might leave Timo Werner out altogether, actually, this time, just for a bit of rotation. We'll put Kaiser in. Forsberg can start. We'll leave Kaiser on the bench, and I think that other than that, we're good to go. Auburn deserves to keep his place because he's been playing very, very well. So we'll leave it like that and we'll go into the match against FC Cologne. Welcome everybody to today's game. I'm Martin Tyler. Alan Smith is with me. And it's a Bundesliga game we've got for you. We're looking forward to bringing you the commentary. Yeah, great to be here today. Should be a good one this. Cologne today against Leipzig. So here we are for the second match of the day against FC Cologne. This time we're actually away from home. But hopefully we can still do well and get a result. One, thread through Sabitza. Get it back. Finish it, come on. Oh, let's go. Two minutes in and already 1-0. Just try and keep this pressure up on him. Hopefully, they won't be able to get this ball in. At least we can get it back to Donnarumma. That's poor. Out for a corner then. Save done the wrong. Good save. Right, let's get Sanchez through the middle. Let's finesse that. Oh, good save by Timo Hong. Oh, come on, give up. Nice bit of play. Let's get Forsberg back up. Can he get a shot off? What a goal! Such a good goal. That's three goals in two games now for Forsberg. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, that's going to be a second yellow. Ah. What is it with red cards on this career? I don't think we've got one the whole of last game. From FIFA 16. And then we've already got two this year. Come on, Donnarumma. I'm going to call to the right. And he went to the left, of course. Ah. Come on, Dembele. Get that shot off. Oh, what a goal. Let's go. What a goal that was. Come on, 
someone get in the way. It's fine. We've got Donnarumma there. Always rely on Donnarumma. Power. Good save by Team Up again. Let's try and cross it in. Someone get ahead to it. Oh, bicycle kick. Maybe not. I don't know what Haustenberg's doing there, considering we're on defensive as well. But never mind. We managed to win 3-1. Even though we went a man down relatively early in the game. Surely that deserves a like on the video. That we managed to hold out so well. Also shows that we didn't need to buy Team a hold earlier in the year. And we were completely right getting Donnarumma. Which was thanks to you guys as well. So good job on that. But good to see that we've won two games of today. And I think we're still going to be in like third in the league. So very, very, very pleasing. Alright, so now that we are back, as you can see in the league table, we are still holding out strong in third on 11 points. I'm not sure how long we can keep up this good form, but, you know, we're playing well. So I don't see why there's any reason why we can't continue. We've already played Dortmund out of the big teams. We've only kind of got Bayern and maybe Wolfsburg to play. So we're looking in good shape. Now it's probably just a good time to do our first training session of the day. I'm going to be running through this one myself. So we'll jump into that and I'll be back in a little while. Alright, so as you can see, we just finished training. We managed to get four A's and one B, which is very, very good. And a few of our players have also gone up in rating, which is also very, very good, very pleasing. So hopefully we can continue with that. I think I'm going to mix it up next time with some of the drills. But other than that, I don't think there's that much else between this and our next league game, which we are going to play in this episode. Alright, so just before we head into our last game of the day, we've got our Monthly scout reports come through and Albert Zimmerman has come back to us with obviously our German players because that's where he's scouting and we are just going to go through as per usual and get rid of the guys that have below 85 potential. This guy's lucky. Schneider's lucky still because he's only got uh, 66, eight, uh, 86 sorry. That guy can go. Okay, so there's someone with 94 potential. There's also Christian Zimmerman. Z ugh, Christian Zimmerman. Let's get that out properly. I'm going to say it's uh, Albert's son. He's put him through the system. But still, he's actually a goalkeeper. We'll, we'll sign him up anyway. Just bring him into the academy so no one else can steal him. Also, Torsten Albrecht. We'll sign him to... Seeing as they've got 94. Another keeper. I'm not sure we need that just yet. I think that is good for the moment. So now we're just going to head over and see what our Brazilians have on offer for us. Okay, so now we are over onto our Brazilians. By the looks of it, we may actually have a couple of players that are kind of valid to be brought up into the team. Not so much as the Germans, but our uh, our scout, Clement Benko, his judgment isn't as good. So, so far we have got Igor Cardoso. I think we were actually looking at him last time. So we're going to bring him up because he's got up to 91 potential. Possibly Alessandro Branco next time because he can play... Is that in goal or across the midfield? Bit of variety. I think we'll sign him anyway. We'll just keep him in the U squad so no one else can take him away from us. But I think we're good there. We'll keep these two on or under tracks at least. And then we'll have a look at them next month. All right. So now we are actually looking at our proper youth squad. Before, the only players that we actually had were Francisco Tavares and Herbert Schneider. 
As you can see, they are both doing relatively well. Tavares' potential is between 74 and 94, and then Schneider has between 75 and 93. Schneider's only 15, so we can't bring him up, whereas Tavares is 18. So really, we probably should bring him up and then start training him through. I'm not sure if we're going to do that just yet. We might do it next time and then possibly loan him out in January. So then he can go out and get some experience because I don't really see him getting that many games with us at the moment. Finally, it is time for our last game of the day. We are up against FC Augsburg. Couldn't remember who they were earlier, but obviously now we know. And in terms of the team, obviously Klosterman cannot play because we did get him sent off in the last game for those two yellow cards. I think Werner is going to come back into the team. So Bitsugit did do a good job last time. Same as Dembele. So did Carter, actually. We might actually rest Sanchez this game, bring someone else in. I think I'm going to start them. In fact, I'm going to rest Forsberg. I'm going to rest Forsberg and start Kaiser instead. I know he's full on stamina, but he's played the last two games and we kind of want to spread out the games the best we can. We're going to bring Maya up onto the bench, probably instead of Selka for this one. And other than that, I think we are good to go. So we're going to jump into the game and see how we can do against Augsburg. Hi there everybody, Martin Tyler with you, Alan Smith is also joining me today and it's a game which we're anticipating eagerly I think Alan. So third game of the day, hopefully we can come out of today with three games and three victories. Good save by Donnarumma, I hope that we can get that out quickly and then counter from that. Or not. Come on Werner, get in there, get in there, get onto it. Nearly. Is that a pen? Oh, surely that's not a foul from there. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Play it back in. Get to it, finesse. Oh, what a goal by Dem. I don't have a clue what he's doing running through there, but still. We'll take it anyway. Let's put Werner straight through the middle. Nice, nice, nice. Come on, get to it, get to it. Nearly. Very close. Good save, Donnarumma. Let's go. We were caught out there. Straight through there. Let's get a shot off. What a goal. What a goal by Timo Werner. Looks like we're going to have three games, three victories. Get there, get there, get there, get there. Pass it to the side. Oh, Kaiser. Should have put that away. There we have it. Another game and another victory. That takes our tally of today to three in three. Meaning we're staying right up the top end of the table. Really competing for Europe. Maybe even the title. Dare I say it. So, as you can see, after today's games, we are up to second place, sitting above Dortmund, even though they have one game in hand, but still, very, very pleasing. We're only one point behind Bayern, so hopefully next time out we can push on, get some more wins, and even maybe stay undefeated for as long as we possibly can, because we still haven't lost a match, which is also very good. Anyway, I think we will actually leave it there for today. I hope you did enjoy. Remember to drop a like on the video if you did. Also, remember to subscribe if you're new. I know there's a lot more people watching the videos now, so if you're new and you enjoy the content, subscribe. You can always comment and tell me things that you want to see. If you want to see me play different games, different series, whatever, I'm completely open to it. So remember to drop that down in the comments below. And yeah, I will see you all on the next video.